Schools Computer Club Initiative, promoting creativity, innovation and entrepreneurship. When you put your device camera on that your smartphone, if you put it on an object, it pops up an image, it pops up a 3D object. Right? And so that is you're massing your world or you're merging your world with technology. So one thing you should know that is it's possible for your phone to use certain apps it's possible for your phone to use certain platforms and your laptop to create augmented reality. When you say augmented, it means you are creating a reality where you have more information from putting your camera on certain objects. For example, if you take your camera phone, right? Most of you are used to Snapchat. You are used to Snapchat. You are used to TikTok, right? So you see sometimes if you put your camera on your face, it creates uh it creates a 3d image or it creates a filter something like that so filter technology that we use today on snap on snapchat and uh, uh snapchat and tiktok are ways of immersing what tech, immersing ourselves inside technology or using technology to create augmented reality for ourselves right you have heard of facebook uh meta right metaverse facebook metaverse what facebook is trying to do actually is making sure that once you log into their platform you can use your virtual reality glasses right to go into a different uh part of facebook that is their avatar part of facebook when we say avatar most of you know about uh, no one will talk about avatars it means you are creating a 3d object that represents you inside your device or online. So those are avatars. It can be a human avatar. It can be a object avatar. So what Facebook is trying to do with their metaverse is you can learn on their platform using your virtual reality glass, right? Once you put on the glasses, automatically you see yourself in a different uh, reality where everybody there is almost like a cartoon right you can interact with objects you can create uh you can create educational materials there you can create entertainment materials there so these are what we call what immersive technology so i might not be able to share uh do a demo session right away because i'm using my smartphone but i will share some websites that you can check out where you, uh, massive technology can be used to create augmented reality objects. So, first and foremost, I've explained a uh, massive technology or a massive putting yourself inside an immersive world, meaning you are, you are you are using your device to create a world where you can interact with objects and even make. Uh, learning fun for yourself. And I talked about TikTok and Snapchat. Those filters you use on TikTok and uh, Snapchat, those are elements of immersive technology where you want your face to look maybe like uh, you have a, a max on your phone, you have what they call it. You have, a, uh, you see yourself running, but it's just your face. But the body running is uh, an avatar, right? So these are uh, immersive technology. Now, this in education is remember, most times you might not be able to go ahead and uh, carry out some certain practicals in reality. You might not be able to carry out some certain practicals, maybe your physics, chemistry, or science practicals. So, what you might need at that point is an immersive technology where you put your practical, for example, your chemicals, right? You can go into the massive world and carry out an experiment on chemistry. In reality, if you have to carry out that experiment, it might be dangerous. It might be very, because of the chemicals, right? It might be very corrosive to your skin. But 
carrying out that same practical in an immersive world automatically makes it possible for you to uh, not get hurt as a student or not get uh, uh, distract, uh, distracted by people around you shouting, oh, this chemical is exploding, right? Because some chemicals will explode. But if you carry it out in an immersive world, automatically you save yourself the dangers of interacting with that chemicals in real life. So that's one advantage. Now, if you are in a class where you are, you are, you are teaching uh, human anatomy, the uh, human body parts, or what is the, how the heart looks like, how the liver looks like, immersive technology also helps you create a reality where you can see this parts right in virtual world you see it in your avatar world automatically you know you can't just uh, cut off cut somebody's heart as they start showing you right but you can see it in a virtual world where the massive technology making possible for you to interact and see how the heart beats how the heart pumps blood which is very fun for you uh, students to learn and automatically you understand how your body works without actually touching blood or without actually uh, killing or co uh, carrying out any form of operation on a real human being. So these platforms or this world, uh, immersive world, makes it possible for you to learn without facing any danger, right? You also have virtual tours where you go to space or you go to some certain areas of the world without you being there physically what happened is you wear your, your your glasses your vr glasses and you start seeing areas of the world that you will not have access to you might see ancient caves you might see dinosaurs you might see uh, mass rovers right the uh, trip to mass and you see how the mass rovers the, mass, the vehicles on mass how they are used to carry out research in Mars. Or you might even visit Atlantica, where it's cold and everywhere is full of ice. You might visit Atlantica using your virtual reality glasses, right? So it helps your learning very, it helps your learning become very interactive. You don't have to go to Antarctica and feel the cold, right? You can actually use your virtual reality glass, go to Atlantica and see what the polar bears are doing there. And they tell you the kind of organisms there and they tell you the kind of life forms in Atlantica. So these are the benefits of a massive technology. I'll try and share my screen to show you certain platforms that you can uh, use to carry out immersive uh, practicals in your schools or in your uh, as, a, as a student. So one minute, let me. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Dita, additional, can I share the screen? Yes, you can share screen. Yeah, more Okay, can you see my screen? Mm, it's trying to come up. It's trying to come up. Can you see? Yes, it's trying, it's trying to load now. Can you see? Yeah, it's showing screen sharing. It's about loading. Okay, it's up. It's up now. It's up now. Okay. Yes, I, I can see okay. it from my own. Okay. Can you see creativity? powered by AR there. Yeah, it, students, if you can see it, teachers, if you can see it, just say yes. Can you see my screen? Just say yes in the chat if you can see it. I can see it from my own end. Okay, I think they can see it. You can go on, sir. 
Yes, yeah, we can see it. You can go on. Okay, you are seeing Snap AR, right? Yes. Yes, we can see creativity powered by AR. Good, okay. So this is a, an app by Snapchat. On Snap uh, Chat. So it's called Snap Camera or Snap Lens. So it's actually used to help you create virtual world. You can see images of worlds that have been created. This uh, is an immersive world. You can see the uh, lady there wearing a shirt, but it's not actually on the physical lady, right? It's the is the uh, augmented reality app that helps you create such reality. So you can actually create a space if you are going to space and use this app to uh, put it on and it shows the parts of the space element. So this is underwater. Can you see the underwater? Uh, you can see the underwater uh, top right so you can't you can actually use the app to create virtual tour of on the sea you know you cannot go under the sea as a child right so you can create a virtual tour of this when you see the uh, elements of Underwater, you see the, the different fishes there. You see the and you see what underwater looks like. Then you see also they also use this. You can create a reality where you want to buy something uh, at the supermarket. So your phone can create a reality if the supermarket have this kind of apps, open parts. Or you can't without opening uh, containers, right? So putting your phone camera on that item, it will scan it and bring something like this that you can interact with the three D, uh, the three D images that you can interact with in the supermarket. So it's it's a world we can use to create a where people don't need to encounter danger right they don't need to be in dangerous situation objects uh, is in the avatar stage or the, the avatar world or in the metaverse so you see you can see something like that how to, this is a uh, uh, you can see how to actually repair certain items, household items, without touching it. You can see, you can see the, uh, what they call it, the microwave and the kitchen utensils and how they operate. So these are ways you can learn how to actually carry out certain experiments or repair certain items without you actually uh, physically touching those items. So you can see how the, uh, Augmented Reality app creates a reality that can help you fix things without you touching that thing. Okay, let's... So you can also use it for entertainment purposes. So, so this is what Snap AR. So if you install it, you can start creating Augmented Reality app. Then the next one is we we'll use FET. FET, right? So this is a simulation. This is a simulation uh, platform that you can use to learn physics, chemistry, and the sciences and other uh, subjects. So you can learn physics, chemistry, math, et science and biology. So your physics experiment that you might not be able to carry out in the lab, you can use this as a simulation to learn it. So it's creating what an immersive world for you to learn 
certain subject. Let's explore it and see what it looks like. So the, the website again is FET, P H E T dot Colorado dot E D. So like, let's see some phys uh, physics topic that we could learn from this. So you see, based on subject physics, chemistry, maths, earth, science, right? So let's see, let's interact with some of the elements. Okay, so let's look at the uh, optics. In primary science, you can, uh, there are experiments where you learn how to do what? Use lenses, how to uh, cause refraction in light. So let's watch some of the interaction and see what it looks like. So it's creating an immersive world for your, so this is a lens, right? And this is a mirror, lens and mirror. Okay, so this, we can, I'll just zoom on it so that you see what it looks like. So this is your lens at the middle and this is an object, the picture of a pencil that is reflected on the surface here, right? So you can actually carry out different calculations on it. You can see below. You ray, uh, you can you can set the ray. That's the ray of light. You can set the ray of light. Marginal, principal, many. You can see. It. Okay. So we can you can set the ray of light. You can see if you look up, you see the ray of light changing. You can remove the ray of light, and it will show you what. It looks like when you carry out this particular experiment in real life, marginal, principal, many, right? Many real of life. So let's leave it at the default. So you can also set the radius of the lens, the coverture, you can set. And each, uh, as you set it, it's actually a calculation you are going to do in real life that you get the same result as if you carry out this experiment using a real lens and in your physics or chemistry or your science lab. So you can set the focal point, you can set the virtual image. So this, I'll go back, okay. I'll go back to another experiment so that we see what it looks like. So these are different experiments in physics, uh, chemistry, Let's see how molecules are built, right? Let's see how molecules are built. Let's see how molecules are built. So you have different molecules, carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. And these actually, chemistry experiments you can carry out on this platform without, without uh, using the chemicals physically. That's okay. I'm loading the simulation, loading the simulation. So for a quick one, why is still loading? A simulation is simply an experiment you carry out in the virtual world without uh, holding the items physically. So you are carrying out a simulation. You have heard of flight simulation, meaning you are riding an airplane without being without using a real airplane, right? Flight simulation, like you wear your VR glasses and you are an airplane and you are learning how to fly an aeroplane without you actually uh, being inside a real aeroplane. So that is 
a simulation. What is a simulation? In? So this is a simulation of mixing hydrogen and oxygen. And you know when you mix hydrogen and oxygen in the presence of uh, heat, it gives you what water H2O. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's. So you have two molecules of hydrogen. Let me see if it will zoom up. Uh, it might not zoom up as expected. So you see two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen, right? Will give you what? One molecule of water. Then you have two molecules of oxygen and hydrogen, which gives you uh, hydrogen uh, peroxide. So yes. So I can't zoom in, uh, but I'll share the link on the on the chat section so that you can go to the website and Sorry, see Sammy, the experiment you can carry. Out. Yes, Mr. can you hear me? Can, can it yes. do landscape? Can it go landscape? I can't. Uh, I can't zoom in. I can't zoom. In. Okay. It's not. Doesn't allow zoom in. That's. Uh, in my on my phone it doesn't allow zoom. Okay, can, can I can I can I locate it and you can explain? Yes, I can. It. Okay, I'll just send the, the link. I'll send uh, the link. I, I think I'm trying to open it. Let me let me share so you can explain okay. from my end. Okay, okay. Let uh, me send the link. Okay. So when you want to move to the next thing, you just let me know. I will share it from okay. here. Okay. I think is it is here, Abby? Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so which yes, one I can see I... your screen. I can see your screen. Uh -huh. The first one, energy, energy. This one. Are... Yes, yes. So you just close the simulation, click on the play button there. Yes, that play button. Okay. okay, let's see introduction. Okay. So you this is an experiment to to show energy generated when ion, when you have ion olive oil, water, bricks, right? Okay. So try clicking the ion and see if it moves. Okay. Is it moving? It's not moving. Oh, it's, it's moving. It's moving. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's moving. Yes. Okay, put it on the put it on the uh, burner. Put the iron on the burner. Okay. Uh, see if you can increase the heat under the burner. Okay. 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 So it works. So what you do, you just put the water container on the burner, put the iron inside, then you can increase the heat. The water, this. Yes. They put the iron inside the okay. water. So it's an experiment to show how. Uh, Iron can decompose under heat, increase the heat. Okay. 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 
play click on the button that play down. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So no, the, the small one, small, small bot. Okay, click on the big one. I think it's yeah. Okay, let's see the temperature go. If you look up, you see the thermometer that indicates the temperature when yeah. that, yes, when that, uh, uh, click on the arrow up on the thermometer to increase temperature. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is the arrow in that? This arrow is it seems not to be yeah. moving. Should I refresh oh. the should I refresh it? No, 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 don't refresh, don't refresh. Okay. We might try another experiment that okay. That you go home, click home, we might try another experiment. Okay, back, back again. Okay, should I go to this? Okay, let's see the systems. Let's see the system. Okay, this uh using your bicycle to increase kinetic energy or great uh convert kinetic energy to potential energy to kinetic energy they are okay so this one okay uh go home go home let's look for a an experiment that go home so you have several experiments on the platform that can be carried out uh, go back again go back Several experiments that can be carried out without endangering the student. We need to work back simulations. Go to simulation. Simulation. Yes. Physics, chemistry, maths, etc. Let's get let's get science. Let's get science. Okay. okay, scroll, scroll up. Scroll, scroll, okay, scroll. Scroll up. Okay, okay. Okay, let's look at the uh Greenhouse effect. That's the second one up. Since we are all, we are, yes, everybody's uh, aware of climate change and all that. So let's use, let's use the second year greenhouse effect. So greenhouse effect. Okay. Yes. Uh, HTML. HTML. Yes. The greenhouse effect is uh, the chemicals that deplete the ozone layer allow sun ray uh, become intense on the earth, right? Sometimes you, you hear people say, oh, the sun is too hot. Sometimes because of the chemicals, uh, the, the smoke from cars and from industries that goes up Deplete the ozone layer. So click on start, start sunlight. Okay. So this is what happened with going the sunlight. Uh, now look at your gas concentration. So you see, anytime the gas concentration, 
Greenhouse gas condensation. So use the slider. Use the slider. Bring this down on your yes. Bring it down. Bring it down. Meaning there's no greenhouse or there's no gas. There's no gas uh, pollution. There's no pollution. So you can see the red lines are faded because you can see the red lines are faded. That is they are minimal gas going into the ozone layer that protects the earth from the sun. I increase the slider to the higher. Many there's too much green, uh, gas that goes up to deplete the ozone layer. You can see. So each time the sun, the sun is the yellow one, right? The yellow ray. So each time it, each time there's a greenhouse uh, gas from it, like your smoke and all that, automatically increase the heat, increase the temperature of the earth because it, uh, it starts reflecting that heat on us humans. Everywhere becomes very hot. You can see the red lines or the red gas or it's now what is now dark it's now the uh, concentration is that you can see your thermometer on the left the temperatures are in the temperature has increased so the, the thermometer shows the temperature of the earth anytime we increase smoke uh smoke gases that is what released into the air so if you reduce if you reduce the gas slide down the right hand side see the thermometer uh, temperature will reduce so this this is a part of a climate change talk that we are all aware of you can see the gas the thermometer's temperature has reduced because the gases that is emitted from the earth is also refused. So these are uh, a short, this is a short uh, presentation on immersive technology. Now you can see your learning uh, in mass into uh, the virtual world, you see what happens in real life on your on your on this platform. You can you can use your smartphone to carry out these simulations. You can also use your laptop. Thank you, Mr. Adesha. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, uh, uh, Mr. Adil, are, are we through? Thank you for uh, joining this class. I hope in subsequent time we'll be I'll be able to use my system and show you more. Yes, yes, yes. Any question? Yes, we want to use this opportunity to appreciate uh, Mr. Jude for that. Uh, spectacular and a classical presentation you can see most of those things that you think are abstract can be brought to life can be brought to reality through immersive technology and uh, you see the rate at which you are learning even your iq we even improve with immersive technologies uh just to summarize what he has been saying uh yes so some students and teachers are already appreciating your presentation. That's from Shumade Kendi. Uh, yes. So in massive technologies, he has told us that we have virtual reality and we have augmented reality. You, don't, you, you just saw, and uh, he made mention of some some uh, some website like Snap ARU. I believe that some of you must have gone through. Let me see if I, I was able to capture that uh, 
website. Let me see. I think that I can show some of us that are just coming. Okay, I think I was able to capture it. Okay, let me share it. Okay, somebody is trying to come in too. So I'm just trying to do summary because of some of us. Uh, we actually want uh, everybody to enjoy every section of what we are doing. At least you can see that is snap A out of for augmented reality. You can bring learning to to life. You can uh, you can augment anything. He, he told us how you can build your own uh, ARO environment, build your, use your characters, create scenarios for yourself and things like that. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. He also mentioned, of, he mentioned faith. Faith, we saw, we saw science, you know, we are talking about uh, expanding innovation horizon with, uh, with uh, um, the massive technologies. So you can see now that he has actually used immersive technology as a, as a way of crossing across different disciplines. Let me share it again for those of us that, that are just coming. The FET website, and uh, we just learned about greenhouse effects. And I myself have really learned a lot. Okay, you can see the FET website. You can see the FET website. It really helps in STEM a lot. And simulation you can see physics chemistry yeah, some of you missed uh, he was talking about uh, um, um, this aspect of physics that has to do with refraction reflection and things like that so he talked about so you can see your maths and everything uh, everything uh, comes to life using augmented reality so thank you so much mr jude i know that the students we have questions to ask you and some teachers to me want to make some contribution. Now, if you have question to ask, you can raise your hand. Mr. Reed is here to answer your question. Do you have anyone that has question? You want to ask question? Do you have anyone who wants to ask question? Okay, let me see in the comments. Okay, they are just saying thank you for bringing. Okay, they are just saying thank you, thank you. So, at times, students, when they get uh, some spectacular presentation. Okay, uh, Larry is asking the question. He said, Oh, I think I muted everybody except the presenter. Okay, I think. Okay, let me see. Let me see. That's why I said you should raise your hand so that we'll be able to control the noise making. Okay, if you, if you want to talk, just raise your. But let me just uh, read this question. It said, what is the latest air innovation? Okay, ARU. What is the latest ARU innovation? That's the question from uh, Larry. He said, what is the latest air innovation? Uh, ARU innovation. Uh, the latest AR innovations are centered around using your phone for uh, you have Google Lens, you have Google Lens, so that one that's one of the innovations. Then you have uh, you have Snapchat now, that's Snap Camera, the, the platform we just dealt with, right. You are supposed to use that platform to create scenarios that your phone can interact with. So those are the latest innovations. And it's mostly, uh, now you see most people use it for entertainment. But I'm looking at scenarios where teachers can actually start bringing content for learning, right? Because everybody's, still, uh, everybody's focusing on their own needs, right? So the needs of teachers will be for learning, right? So we can use those platforms to create uh, content or to create scenarios for learning so that more students will have access can also innovate on them. But for now, most people are focusing on entertainment, which, uh, which is 
Yes, also a good thing that I want to see scenarios where teachers can come on this platform and create content specifically for students and for classroom scenarios. Yeah, thank you so much for that uh, for that answer. Uh, Mr. Jidawe, who uh, came for his presentation this morning, said something that, uh, yes, entertainment industry is good, but the industry that actually does the innovation that can actually uh, make solve problems. Uh, I don't know how, how many problems uh, entertainment solve. Can you tell me how many problems entertainment can solve? Uh, do we have anybody here that so, entertainment? So, is there any problem uh, entertainment can solve? It's a more of a distraction. Uh -huh. So they just gain the traction and they, they just make the money. But you see, this innovative industry, like the one we are we are talking about, is the one that is actually going to transform our community, transform our society, solve problems, uh, pressing issues on health, pressing issues on, on agriculture, cyber security, and so much and so many like that. So you, you see, technology has come to stay, and then steam has come to stay. So that's why we are we have to look at different areas that we can expand innovation or rise or rise. Uh, I think uh, yes, once more, we want to appreciate Mr. Jude for his time, for the efforts that he made coming to this 2022 SSA International STEAM Summit and Award. He has really been a uh, an effective partner with Schools Computer Club Initiative, and we have been partners with one another for more than a decade. So, so Mr. Jude uh, is an EduTech professional, is an expert. If you type Mr. Jude in Google, you will see his research work, you will see what he has done so far. So anytime that you need him, you need his attention, you want him, to speak on any topic for your school. So don't worry, he's there for you. He's a lover of children too, and he's always interacting with children every day. Once again, we appreciate your presence, Mr. Jude, and uh, I see everybody wants to do thumbs, thumbs up for you. They want to do thumbs up. Let's do thumbs up for Mr. Jude. Let's give him thumbs up. Thank thumbs up, so don't use your hand. Somebody is doing like this. Do thumbs up from the reaction icon. Yes. Let's know how you, whether you are using technology. Do thumbs up from the reaction icon on your, whether you are using your phone or, uh -huh. want more thumbs up. Yes. Thank you so much. Schools Computer Club Initiative, promoting creativity, innovation, and entrepreneurship.